What's going on, everybody? Happy New Year's. I am feeling a lot better than what I was originally. My, uh, I guess you can say, like, cough and everything's really down to a bare minimum. Still a little bit stuffed up here, but I think I just caught a bad case of the flu more than anything. Put me down for a few days, lots of meds and rest, and back at it. So, I'm going to have some different videos this week coming out. Be on the lookout for those. Of course, our 10,000 Club uh, PSA update and stuff like that there. Moving forward to 2022, um, I'm not going to sit there and come out with some kind of crazy goals that I've seen and heard people do in the past. Like, oh, I want to reach X amount of subscribers and all that other stuff. I'm looking more at uh, pushing more content out than before. With, I guess you say, more, more of my views on this stuff. We'll still have the scam videos as they uh, come up, the trim cards, stuff like that there. Uh, overtime will still be going on. And we're going to look at doing the card uh, sales slash auction thing probably bi-monthly or quarterly. I would like to try to get more people involved to come on to, uh, you know, uh, sell on there, do auctions and stuff like that there to where we could make it into a, you know, I don't know, three, four people maybe or more, six, eight hour thing to where people could get a better selection of cards and, you know, it shows different inventory. So I'll be working on that there coming up. Um, I've also did a little bit of changes to the website and I just want to show you guys real quick as well too. So this is from the computer standpoint on to it. And when you, let me see if I can try to make this a little bit bigger. Maybe not. Oh, wait, there we go. So the new thing is this events calendar that I put up here. Because a lot of people always ask me about the shows around me and where I'm going to. When you click on this, it's going to bring up a calendar. And at the same time frame, it'll let everybody know, like, Overtime will be back on the 21st of this month, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, Joey CBC should be on with us during these. Uh, and anybody else that wants to come on just for discussion, more than welcome to. If you got a YouTube channel and, you know, you're trying to expand your views and stuff, you're more than welcome on there and help with the content onto it as well. This here is going to go into pretty much where... The card shows are that I'll be looking at going into. So, for example, when you look here, this says set up on this one. It means I'll be set up here. And this gives you the address, where it's at, and stuff like that there. And if anybody, you know, has shows that they want me to put on here, I may not be able to get out to them for, like, in California, New York, and stuff like that there. But I'm always welcome to put those on. And plus, if you know you're around in the area, you know, three, four, five hours from Louisville, and you want to hit me up on email, I'll put them on here, no problem. Maybe I'll try to get up to one or two throughout the year. I want to start being able to go to more shows to uh, um, basically just get out in a way to where I used to years ago, just go on, on to more of the road type deal and be able to, you know, see different cards or inventory, whatever you want to call it out there, along with, you know, making maybe some face to face meetings with, uh, People I've met through YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, whatever it may be. So it's going to be something different this year. We'll see how COVID plays out and everything. But that's one of the ideas through this year. Plus, it, you know, I always enjoy myself watching people's card show videos and be able to see, like, different cards and stuff like that there. Especially if they're able to, like, say, oh, this is the dude's Instagram or something like that. Because it might be a PC card I've been looking for. And I might be able to pick it up. So this will be new here. Um, I'll, I'm gonna be, this is more of a work in progress. You can come up here, click. It'll show you the by week if you just want to see what the actual thing is, month. Or you can just go here. It has all the agendas. For some reason, it put all the holidays in here. I haven't figured out why. Like tax day, Easter Monday and stuff. Cinco de Mayo. So I'm just leaving it on there until I figure that out. But just something different. So it gives a calendar of events. Um especially with the shows and stuff with Saturdays and stuff like that. Overtime is going to get pushed more to like a 9 p.m. Eastern start time, maybe till about summer. Then I might push it to like 10. All right. Now let me pull up back to here. So 
every Sunday is when I'll probably be changing inventory in the store in and out. So if you just come up here to cards for sale, then hit all cards for sale to bring up everything in the store. This is what I currently loaded in the store today. I can tell you the Torkelson Refractor Autos, like 30 bucks under uh, eBay comps. The Definitive, Key Brian Hayes out of 10, I think it's like 25 under comps. Buster Posey Autos around 20 under comps, I want to say, out of 10. Matt Ryan Autos like 10 under. I think McGuire Auto was like 5 under. This was like 8 or eight to $10 under um, VCP. This is almost on par. It was like a buck cheaper than what I found this one for uh, sold online. But, you know, I, I'm covering, see, I figure, you know, if I'm going to cover sales tax into this stuff and not make people pay it, incorporating the price and shipping and stuff, I figured, hey, I know shipping is $49 and more for free shipping, but I'm just trying to keep everything pretty much on to it. So that, that's what I got done today, just loading into the store and getting stuff done. As most people know, my January through February is a little bit crazy with uh, uh, income taxes because I still do file a handful of people's income taxes for them each year. So I'm going to play that off with um, a lot of what I'm doing uh, once all that stuff gets motion to play. You got about two weeks plus until uh, the programs start coming out to where you can go on there and the state forms and all that stuff. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all that crazy talk, but. Yep, that's going to be a fun time there. So once I get my stuff out and all that, I mean, I'm pretty much more free. It's usually just people hit me up either very early or like end of March. Like, hey, you still doing taxes? I need to get my stuff done type deal. So always a little bit of a little bit of a time consuming doing all that stuff. But I, I try to help out the people I've been helping out for years now onto that. So. Like I said, this is why I load the store. Feel free if you guys want to pick some of this stuff up. This also gives people an opportunity to buy stuff that's never able to make some of the lives that I'm able to do for the sales or you know auctions or whatever I'm holding. So always check out the stores. Um, I would say Sunday by like 10 p.m. Eastern time, I should have whatever I got new in into the store. Wax. Everybody's going to want to know about holly boxes and stuff. I'm pulling away um, a lot from the newer products. Whatever I get on allocation, you know, I'll, if I don't, if it's not for me to open, I'll put it in the store for whoever wants to get it. But allocations have been what have been cut through the years. And I've talked to a bunch of guys. They're still breakers and stuff like that there. And regardless of how much they keep buying, buying, buying to get into, they're hardly keeping their allocations, you know, and it, it don't make a lot of sense um, across the board with it, but it is what it is. I'll be pulling away. You guys will see more having like Pokemon stuff, probably like WWE, soccer, than other sports. Um, I'll still have some baseball allocation this year. Everybody knows my football, basketball is kaput. Probably start getting back into some hockey stuff. Um, everybody knows I'm a Penguin fan, so I'm going to try to pick up some. Uh, Box to see if I pull me some Crosby or Lemieux stuff out of it. But we'll I'll still do box openings and everything like that onto the channel. Some may be live, some may not be. But I want to try to, like I said, get a few different things out there this year. I, I've been tossing up opening up a second channel, um, but I think I'm going to just keep it on to here because I know a lot of people. Uh, that come into streams and we start talking wrestling, you know, are all into wrestling. I'm thinking about getting a couple of uh, people throughout the year that I know uh, for, through the years to come on and maybe do, you know, an hour talk and maybe they can respond to some of the chat questions and stuff that either were former pro wrestlers, the WWE, WCW, TNA, uh, a, maybe NAEW, whatever it may be, just to come on and talk about it. Uh, something pretty cool, something different. Uh so be on the lookout whenever we get that stuff rolled into place as well, too. All this stuff, you know, it's throughout the course of the year. It's not going to be stuff that's going to be hurried up into it. Repacks. 
I've given so much thought into doing more repacks again, but every time, unless I'm doing like a hundred card repack or a hundred packs, it don't make sense. I had enough to do about between 40 and 50. And I started looking at it, added up what the whole overall price was. And then I looked at it and I'm like, oh, how are you going to make these packs even worth it? Because... You know, some people are like might get 50% of the value. So say I was charging $90 a pack and you pull a $45 card. But I was starting to think about, well, you know, most holly boxes that you go out $450, $200, you're pulling $30 in cards too. But I'll look more into it. It might just be one of those rare occasions on Black Friday that I do that. Or maybe a couple times a year where I just throw some up into it. Mostly, I think I'm just going to stick with the single sales onto this stuff. As always, I will have graded cards mostly all on my slab. So when you're on this and it says graded cards, then you pull that up. There's all my stuff that's graded. So if for by any chance you don't have a my slabs account, I would say I suggest to get one. But if you don't and you want to pick something up, it's on my slabs and you, you don't have an account to buy, just hit me up and I'll move it over onto the website itself. Um, but yeah, it's got, that's pretty much it right there. Yeah, see guys, there's the Herbie. But uh, yeah, just stuff I've been throwing on there. If I get some uh, PSA orders in where I just need to move a lot of stuff uh, because it's just, you know, they're moving them too quick to me. I may just do a impromptu, at least try to give everybody like a day notice. Hey, I'm going live tomorrow night for a quick sale or something like that. But a lot of stuff that lingers around in my inventory, and I'll pull this down. This is all going to DC Sports here. It's been either sitting in the stores, in the website, or I've taken the shows and stuff. And I'm just going to push it out, or they're doing this lots and stuff like that there. If you guys haven't used DC Sports, I mean, it's not bad if you don't want to mess with eBay this year and everything like that. You still got, he could either cut you, I know it's a check, direct deposit, or to your PayPal, but PayPal is goods and services. So if you guys haven't used DC Sports, check it out. I've never really had an issue and when I do. They resolve it very quickly, usually within a day. So customer service is very good onto that. Uh... I think that's pretty much it that I really want to talk about. I probably should have had a sticky here with all the key points for 2022. But there's, like I said, there's going to be no goals of, uh, I want to hit 10,000 subscribers and, you know, I want, you know, all that crazy stuff like that there. It's going to be more content that's going to come out. Uh, I want to start trying to incorporate, I don't want to say smaller YouTube channels, but, you know, people that, want to come on and just talk sports cards where they have a channel or not you know into stuff and whether you want to go live with it or not i could do a record you know we could i could send you the zoom link it's free all you could do is build a free zoom account and we could do it on there and then i could place and upload the video later but just just some food for thought i mean stuff like that there it may be if we could uh actually get COVID under control which i highly doubt we ever will um I would like to, if they had a show like, say, down in Nashville, the big one they do, I think, twice a year, try to get a hotel down there and maybe get a room, like a, one of them conference rooms, maybe uh, get, you know, be about 10 of us together, and we can have, like, our own little personal trade night type deal. I've looked at the Zooms for trade night now for the past, oh, gosh, four or five months. I think it gets way too confusing by having so many people on with their screens at one time frame. And as soon as somebody talks, it flickers to that screen. So I've really tried to play around with a lot and just don't look like it's going to be something you could really do offhand. Uh, but that is about it, everybody. Have a good new year. Check out the store. Like I said, I'll put a link to the direct uh, card piece that you guys seen earlier. This, whoop, not that piece. I don't know where it went. Oh, I don't know why, because I went backwards. 
to this page that'll pull up in the description for everybody in case anybody wanted to grab any of the stuff I just put up. And like I said, look at like Sunday sometime that I'll end up putting if I have anything new up into it. Right now, I will have stuff probably going up uh, each Sunday this month. So just keep an eye out during that time frame. What I'll probably do is just do a Sunday video and say, hey, store's loaded type deal just to get everything fluent again. And try to keep the store active onto it so I can work more content and put more into the overtime series this uh, year. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you all next video.